Welcome to August. Today is August 3rd, Thursday, August 3rd. And it is so bright and sunny, so we're gonna go swimming. And I was going to vlog actually after, but I'm gonna get my hair wet and then I'll look all weird post pool. So I figured it was so much easier to do this now. I got some new paper in the mail, more is coming. I got it from Joann's and have you ever seen those journals? It says Fabriano, Fabriano. Anyway, I have one of them. It's a sketchbook, it's lime green. I drew it like 10 years ago and I love it so much. The paper quality is just incredible that I had no idea they made watercolor paper. And so I thought I'd give it a try. It was on super sale. They were having a 60% off sale a little bit ago and now I think it's up to 80 but the sale might be over by the time you watch this because it's only the beginning of August um but this paper is only 140 pounds um that's not what I wanted to say 300 grams um that's the weight but and then it's only 25% cotton and most cold press watercolor paper I use is 100% cotton so I thought there was going to be a huge difference but I was going to hate it but I was like hey it was eight bucks not that bad. I painted on this last night. Look how vibrant everything turned out. It is beautiful. I love the paper. The quality is amazing. And I thought it was great. So definitely using this. Um, I want to do a lot of sketchbook work this month. And some other things I want to do is I've been making floral reels pretty consistently on Instagram. I want to keep those going. I had one like pop off. It never has done that before just from being consistent. I thought it could have been because I, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> because I did a voiceover and then I just kept doing voiceovers, but I've gained a bunch of new followers from it. And so I'm excited because it means I'm building it and what I'm doing is working. And I've been an artist for quite some time and just trying to grow and help people while also like selling my work. So having growth is good. Um, but, oh, I started this too. Started it for fun over the weekend. And it's a little plant chart. I'm going to finish that at some point and I want to turn it into prints. So that's what we have going going so far So it's Friday, July, no it's not, it's Friday, August 4th, and I'm working on my sketchbook, we just got back from the zoo, and <laughs> this goat <laughs> was making the weirdest face. I took a picture of him, and I'm trying to do a line drawing, and it honestly just makes him look so <laughs> He was this weird goat. He did not want a cracker. And that's what he was doing. I'll show you right here. It's so creepy. Um, but I thought it would just be funny to put there to remember the goat. Anyway, I'm working in a sketchbook. I'm watching a vlog and I'm going to work on my third plant in my plant chart. I did some orange painting yesterday that I started with these little mandarins right here and we're gonna just see how that goes. See what I get done, take it easy and just have fun.
It is Monday, August 7th, and it was raining so much this morning, and it was so cloudy, so I couldn't vlog, <clears throat> but now the sun has come out, it's bright and sunny, it's hot, and I'm drinking my first ever turmeric latte, iced turmeric latte. It's really good. I like it. You can definitely taste the turmeric, but it also just tastes like a cinnamon roll. So, I love that. Today I decided that I wanted to work with some acrylic paints, which I usually don't ever do, but I was painting a baby tiger in my daughter's room. Um, I had leftover paint. And then I was looking at that leftover paint as I covered it in plastic wrap. And then I really needed to use turquoise. And I have a great tube from Golden. Before I get started, I found my sketchbook that I want to show you. My new one that I got. I, I put it in my basket. It was here all along. This is what I'm talking about. It's a little watercolor travel journal by Arches. There's only 15 sheets in here, but I am very excited for this. I love when sketchbooks lay flat and have the spiral binding for watercolor because pages usually don't lay flat as you're working on things, but so anyway, back to the acrylic story, I was needing to use turquoise also because when I was last painting her room, I painted an entire canvas with leftover paint and it was black and red and I hated it. Uh, so I needed to make it turquoise. So I made it turquoise. I'm going to show you it. I don't love it. I started painting the water like in a pool. And I have a lot more to go, but it doesn't look like I want it to look like yet. So it's just going to dry for a while. And in the meantime, I decided to paint some watercolor florals. I kind of like these. I actually had painted them earlier last month. What I will do sometimes, it's actually a more recent thing, is when I am planning on having a painting day, I will actually sketch out some drawings of things I wanna paint so that when it's time to paint, I can just get into painting. I don't have to worry about the sketching process because I feel like I just am in a different state. You know, I'm more technical when I'm drawing something because I wanna make sure it looks right. Um, and then when I'm painting, I feel like I'm just relaxed. But what happened, this is the only problem. And I did organize my reference photos well. I drew like three different things. But I found out that these ones, which is the same kind of flowers, just a blue sky and just two of them, they were actually supposed to be orange poppies. And I was wondering as I was painting it why it looked so weird. So these are the actual ones and what it's supposed to look like. And I'm not too mad about it. Here, let's stay in the chat. Not not too mad. I like I like the darks. I really love that dark green. I mix Payne's gray with I think sap green. I'm not gonna look right now, but I really like that shade of green. And I like the purple, I like the highlights, but these flowers were actually pretty challenging. And I think I still might add some fine, darker purple lines to the petals. But so far, not bad. I do like it a lot better than the first time I did it. So maybe I should just draw a bunch of drawings of the same thing and just keep, keep painting them. I also want to work on my plants chart again, which I really would love to make the, this print, but my scanner is not this big. So I'm going to have to make another one after I do this and make it smaller, like on an eight and a half by 11 sheet, possibly nine by 11. This is 11 by 14 or 11 by 17. So it's a little too big for my scanner, 
but I also got this new little vase. Found it at the dollar store on the clearance table. Really like that this is like old school tile for bathrooms and kitchens. And I put my tall paintbrushes in there. I also ate lunch in here and I made homemade hummus and it smells like hummus now, which is not a bad thing. It's a great smell, but I just constantly want to eat now. So I'm going to get started on the plants and finishing the flowers, but I feel like it's a good, a good head start.
Hello, it's August 15th, Tuesday, August 15th. And I was just scanning my plant painting. Remember how I was telling you I was gonna make a smaller version of this? So finished this one, loved it, too big to fit my scanner. Made a mini one. I am so proud of this, I love it. I love it so much. I love how it's even different and I added some more dimension to the pots. I just love it. I just finished scanning it and I'm looking at it right now. Oh, that's a bird tweeting outside in my on my iPad. And it is so clear, so pristine. I probably barely need to make any changes when I edit it before I do prints. Um, when this comes out, the prints will probably already be, um, they're already probably going to be on my website. I'm thinking of doing limited edition prints. I have a few people interested, but we'll see. Just because people say they're interested doesn't always mean they buy. But... I'm either going to order them, print them myself. Honestly, I might just print them myself. They're so clear. I might try that today. But I have this idea that I'm going to work on on here regarding this. But that's what I'm going to be doing today. I think that doing these August vlogs is one of my, my favorite things ever. And here's why. I work on a lot of different stuff. And for me personally, a weekly vlog is stressful. So stressful, it takes all the fun out of creating a video. That's my empty bowl of ice cream and brownie. It was great. That's all I had. Um, yeah, it was really stressful for me. And I kept thinking of topics I wanted to come up with. When I started my channel, I wanted to you know, experiment, like they tell you, right? Experiment, try things out, see what's your niche. But you know, when you were starting from the bottom, still don't have a lot of followers at this point. If you are a subscriber or follower, thank you so much. I'm glad you were here. But the thing is that, you know, you can kind of just make whatever you want, really, because there's not a huge audience. So it's not fluctuating views aren't fluctuating based on the content you're creating because no one is seeing it. <laughs> so I personally tried out what I wanted. Spray bottle. That's my giant water bottle and it's great. Anyway, um, I tried out what I wanted to try and I landed on the art vlog. Just showing you here in my home studio what I'm working on. And it typically is in a theme because I mainly paint fashion illustrations and florals. If you haven't seen any fashion illustrations, it's because I am a seasonal artist. So when it's summer and it's warm and the flowers are blooming, that's what I'm painting. When it's fall and it's the high point of fashion and fashion week, that's what I'm painting. And I've noticed this rhythm for me. So I tell you, I paint both things, but you only see one of those things half the year and the other the other half. I've been trying to incorporate them more. And I think that's going to be my, my challenge to myself this fall, like putting them both together so I don't just keep going back and forth, but we'll see. Hello, and today is August 24th. It is Thursday, and guess what? The sun came out. The sun is shining. It was so rainy. I wasn't sure what was going to happen, so it means I can finally photograph my plant prints um, because they're releasing tomorrow on my website. If you're watching this vlog now, they already are out. And if there are any left, they're limited edition. You can find them at emmarussellstudio.com. And I thought it would be really fun if I just showed you how I photographed them today. So let's go.
Okay. Obviously, I need to use my phone now to photograph, so be right back. Okay, so definitely the hardest part of that was carrying my monster plant. <laughs> it took me a lot less time than I thought, but that's not chocolate. I don't know what that was. And now I'm going to um, upload the pictures, edit them, get them all like set up for my launch tomorrow. Gonna pre-publish it because um, I'll be at my part-time job when they launch. And this is a little idea <laughs> in my sketchbook from yesterday. Gonna put that away. I sometimes, I try to clean up my workspace usually, but yesterday I didn't have a lot of time. And then I had to make it. So, here's the orchids though. I need to fix them though because they ended up being crooked. But we'll make it work. Gotta cross some things off my list and you're gonna see me editing. painting and I'm just kind of playing around in the sketchbook and there's these really pretty flowers outside my window maybe another year around this time and I want to capture them but I don't feel like the pink is light enough And I could take a picture, but they're behind one of my cameras right now, and that will look weird for the video, and I probably will take a picture at one point, but what I'm saying is that I can't sit there and look at them while painting, because this is my setup. So, I'm painting blobs, apparently. A blob thing, but... It looks like it's in this drain again. I was out earlier. I wasn't here. In here. And the power's fine. So 
That was good. I happily made a sandwich. And it savored buffalo chicken, cucumber, avocado, toasted gluten-free bread, mayo, just on one side of the bread. It was spicy and refreshing. Definitely going to make that again. My gluten-free bread, really small, tiny squares. And it's just the perfect sandwich. You feel satisfied. You don't feel stuffed. 